we're recording. Some folks are hoarding. We've been ordered to stay at home. I'm the daddy. And I'm the bad boy. And we hope to bring you joy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the daddy. And I'm Zach McCain, the big boy. We got our haircuts this morning. Yes. We did? We got our haircuts this morning. It was kind of a guerrilla operation. Don't tell the governor. Don't tell the governor, because they've shut everything down in California. But we found a lady. We found a lady. We called the number. She let us in. She cut my hair first. And then Zach came in a little later with his mother. You really look good, buddy. All nice and clean. I told you, your granddad, my dad, Leslie McCain, he liked it when he got his hair cut. Made him feel good, he said. He said, I feel clean. He liked it. He, li he liked a good haircut. <laughs> you look good. You look good. Say. Thank you. You know what? Too. There are a lot of folks. It, it's a, it's, it's, things are, things are sad these days. A lot of, a lot of cases of the coronavirus. A lot of unrest. Uncle Butch, though, has always brightened my day. Whenever we work Your together. Brother. My brother. My uncle. Your uncle. My brother, Butch. And he does a lot of voiceovers, and he sent this to me, and we want to share it with your subscribers, and you want people to subscri subscribe and like. Subscribe, subscribe and like. like. That's what they say. You need to. Well, I talked to a guy the other day, a, a, a YouTube guy. He says, always tell them, encourage them, subscribe and like, because we want to build up your channel, right? Yes. Okay. Why don't we hit this? Uncle Butch going to bring you some joy with his with his voiceover message. Hit it, Zach. A cold seat in a public restroom is unpleasant. A warm seat in a public restroom is worse. I'm on two diets. I wasn't getting enough food on one. Apparently RSVPing to a wedding invitation, maybe next time, isn't the correct response. <laughs> Don't irritate old people. The older we get, the less life in prison is a deterrent. Have you ever listened to someone for a minute and thought their cornbread isn't done in the middle? I really don't mind getting older, but my body is taking it badly. It turns out that being an adult now is more just Googling how to do stuff. I miss the 90s when bread was still good for you and no one knew what kale was. As I watch this new generation try to rewrite our history, one thing I'm sure of, it'll be misspelled and have no punctuation. I told my wife I wanted to be cremated. She made me an appointment for Tuesday. Confuse your doctor by putting on rubber gloves at the same time he does. My wife asked me to take her to one of those restaurants where they make the food right in front of you. I took her to Subway. I picked up a hitchhiker. He asked if I wasn't afraid he might be a serial killer. I told him the odds of two serial killers being in the same car were extremely unlikely. I went line dancing last night. Okay, it was a roadside sobriety test. Same thing. Oh, good butch, he does a good job. Some of that stuff was pretty what darn are you funny. About? Oh, well, it's funny stuff. You got to live a little more to enjoy all that. That was funny. Thank you, Uncle Butch, yeah, Brother Butch, you. for sending us that. That was that was good. It brightened my day anyway. Let's close out with our prayer for, prayerful song. Stay healthy. And, and by the way, getting our hair cut today. We both had our mask on. Oh yeah, had our mask on. You bet. So let's end with our prayerful song. Lord Jesus, please protect us. From the coronavirus, oh Lord Jesus, please protect us. Those who want to harm us, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please protect us. Till next time, bye.